Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor, and I'm gonna give a quick walk around material handling in the shop. We've got several different carts that we use. Some of them are specialized. And so just let me, I'm gonna start on one end of the shop, walk to the other, show you the different carts that we've got. Some of it might help you out, might not. So this is an old Hayflow one. We use this one. This is specifically for when we're building garage cabinets and we've got it lined out. So all of our tops to our cabinets go on here in this location in a certain order. And then the decks go between these and our adjustable shelves go here. Got this box at the end, and this is where we put our aluminum from when we cut. Uh, we cut this, and then while we're waiting, we got downtime, we put the aluminum on the shelves that are in there. Uh, one of the things we've done is where to return this to. It was getting put all over the shop, so we just put it on here. Hey, we need to return this to the rod station area. It's right here. Uh, another garage cabinet set of carts that we do. We have two different sizes. Um, these ones are adjustable garage cabinet shelves go on them and the bigger one down below we put our garage cabinet doors on them These wheel right into the trailer. You'll notice that they have this uh, Square tubing welded on the side uh, They they roll in and we've got pins that drop in and hold it in place So we don't ever have to strap anything down in the trailer might have seen this too before uh, We had multiple ways that people were strapping down the uh, the items on here, the straps would get put away and stuff like that. Said, you know what, gotta be a better way. So we just welded the strap right to the cart uh, on both sides. So it always stays with the cart, doesn't get twisted, doesn't get lost and makes it nice and easy. We have one standard, put the stuff in there, tighten it This down. is another cart that we built special. We use it along, we've got this pallet stacker, Big Joe that I have had for like 25 years traded a closet with my neighbor for this, but that's another story. So it's a little forklift that goes up and down. We built this cart. Uh, there's a couple different variations of this. So now when our garage cabinet backs come off of here, these are ba they're basically full sheets of material. We can stack them on there and then wheel that to the assembly area. One that we built, you'll notice it's not painted. We quit painting carts and racks here so that when we need to make changes to them, we don't feel bad about it. We don't have any problem with it. Uh, and we've improved this one a couple of times over the years. This one is not really a cart anymore. This is, but it is a, it's a 12 volt powered hydraulic lift a table that goes up and down. And we are at the end of the edge bander with it. So as our parts go off from here, we've got uh, operating buttons at that end so we can raise and lower it. And then we've modified and add some stuff onto it. This thing, I've had these for almost 20 years, uh, worth every penny. They work great. We made these a few years ago. We're getting ready to update them because they don't really work for us, but the idea behind it is uh, each slot is for all of the parts for a cabinet. They're on wheels. We can put them over there. As parts come off the edge banner, we can sort them in there and then we can wheel them right here to the assembly area. Once again, labels on it, stays in the assembly area. Uh, we're gonna redo those and come up with a better plan. Everything on wheels though. This one here is for our garage cabinet sides. Uh, the base is from a, got these at an auction or somewhere. This is an old home base cart. Same stuff that's in use today at Lowe's and Home Depot's, but we cut the top of it off of it and we built these racks on here so that we can sort our verticals in here and then wheel it once again to the assembly area. Works out really, really good. This one here stays in the assembly area. Everybody knows where it goes. Unpainted so we can change it. Uh, here's some of our garage cabinet stuff loaded and ready to go. Uh, this big cart over here is a hodgepodge of stuff, but we build our big wall beds on it. The cool thing about this one is we have all the tools that you need, minus the impact gun, to build uh, a wall bed. The other end here has a pull-out tray and it's got all of the tools that we need to build, um, to assemble a wall bed panel right there with it along with underneath. It's got all the clamps and everything in it so we can build a wall bed uh, right there, uh, nice and easy and then load it into the back of the van. And then last, we got a couple of small carts like this. We actually use these a lot over on the edge banner when we're doing doors. This is our, our temporary return conveyor. We can put long doors on it, wheel it back and forth. And this guy over here is now our leg bin. This was our original improvement cart. And I did another video on the improvement car, but it, it was too small, but it works out great for our legs now. We can, all of our uh, mounting hardware for that, and then we can wheel it to where we need to go. And our coolest cart is actually our load-up box. 
So this is a job. You can see it's got, uh, they moved it out of the way for the meeting in the morning, but it's got all the parts in it. This is the job that's going to go in uh, next week or Monday. It's ready to be loaded into the van and it is on, we move it with a forklift into the van, but in the shop, it's got 2000 pound casters on it. And so that we can wheel it anywhere we need to. And then when it goes in the van, it gets loaded and those casters are off the ground so it doesn't roll around. So whole bunch of different ways that we move stuff around in the shop at the closet doctor.